So this new Democratic health care package that Rep. Uh, Premila Jaipal is putting forward uh, is tanking health care stocks. Is that right? So it's, right it's a very good, good bill. Let's, let's go over as this. As you can see. Um, Proof of concept. Let's go over this uh, briefly. The, um, this um, a Medicare for All bill that uh, Jaipal has uh, introduced and not clear yet um, where that is in the uh, committee process and where it will go. But she is the, um, I guess it's really at this point just a, a proposal, but it is, um, seems to be fairly flushed out or fleshed out, as it were, in terms of the proposal. Um, it goes further than uh, Sanders' Medicare for All. Now, one thing that's a, that's a point of confusion with some people, Medicare right now has co-pays, right? So it's not free at the point of service. It has copays. They're 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 not um, uh, they're not huge. There's and also Medicare does not cover everything. That's why you have supplemental coverage with Medicare. Medicaid covers a lot more and is um, is is free. A lot of people want really want a Medicaid for all. But understand that even when Bernie talks about a Medicare for all. It's a different Medicare. It goes a little bit further. This one goes even further. So under Bernie's Medicare for All uh, proposal in the Senate and under Jayapal's uh, proposal in the House, medical care is free at the point of service. And there are no premiums. Uh, it is all paid for with taxes. In uh, Jayapal's Medicare for All plan, it would bar employers from offering separate plans that compete with government-run option. It would get rid of Medicare and Medicaid as we know them now, and all of their enrollees would go into this new universal plan. It would allow two um, health care programs to exist that exist now. So there, there are really four uh, different government-run health care Plans two are in, involved delivery, two uh, involve insurance. The other two that would remain are the Veterans Affairs Health System, which is a completely government-run system, not just insurance, not just for pay-fors, but to actually deliver the health insurance. And people should know that the uh, the uh, hearing has broken up for the time being. Um, Veterans Affairs would stay uh, open, and this is, uh, makes a lot of sense because uh, the VA deals with all sorts of uh, medical problems that are very unique. And the system works pretty well in terms of, uh, in terms of customer satisfaction. Uh, also, the Indian Health Services, which are uh, basically cut off from the rest because of, of delivery reasons, uh, when you're talking about on reservations or you're talking about in just in general areas, uh, it's a, just a different system. This would phase in two years quicker than Bernie's. Year one, people under 19 and over 55 would go into the universal plans. Uh, after two years, everybody else would jump in. It is also extremely uh, generous and has a robust set of benefits. All your hospital visits, all your primary care, all your uh, devices and services, you go get blood work, maternity care, prescription drugs, vision and dental benefits um, uh, would all be covered. And, and this is really, um, this is pretty significant, long-term care services would be covered. As it is now, under um, the Medicaid covers two-thirds of people in long-term care. And depending on which state you're in, you need to essentially spend down virtually all of your assets. So you can retain your house for the most part, but after you die, there'll be a lien against it in most states. Um, you can keep uh, your car, but essentially you can only have $2,000 in the bank. So what happens is you go into a nursing home, it's $12,000 a month, depending on where you are again, but that's, I think, the average is somewhere around eleven, dollars um, And you spend that down, then your Medicaid kicks in. 
essentially what happens is you go into the uh, nursing home, they do an assessment based on all of your, uh, of your assets. And in many instances, they will go back four or five years to see how you've disposed of those assets. And that will count against the amount of money that you have. So that money needs to come back in some fashion. Uh, so it's, it's a uh, it's a difficult process. Some people have uh, long term health insurance, uh, but that's becoming less available. So this is a a, a this also like I say dental um, and uh, and vision and um, mental will, health and mental health as well. Uh, so this is extremely comprehensive, more aggressive than Bernie's, and good uh, because. You basically now have the center of the debate to the left of Bernie's plan. Yep. Which is uh, which is good. That's great. It's also really important for disabled people to be able to get um, long term help in the home because oftentimes uh, Medicare wants them to move out of their homes and Medicaid. move to a facility. Right. Yeah. And okay. and, and we should say. Yes, this is also uh, a, a key here, too, is that it doesn't necessarily mean you're in a nursing home, long-term care. It could actually be in your home. Um, and, you know, with, with, with the technologies that people have now, it's much easier to keep people in their home, uh, and people prefer it, you know, yeah, over, over time. Yeah, keep families together. Um, what else do we got here for uh, sound? So that's uh, pretty exciting stuff. 